Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Dr. Tony Tony Chopper, and today we're doing part one, our unboxing video for the Master Grade Freedom Gundam from Gundam Seed and Gundam Seed Destiny. Now, let me drop a little bit of knowledge for you guys. The Freedom Gundam is the mid season upgrade to our main character and protagonist, Kira Yamato. In the series, this is created and developed by Zaft, pretty much the bad guys, which was later on hijacked and Kira goes and makes pretty good use of it while defending his friends. This is equipped with an end jammer counselor and is nuclear powered, pretty much making it a beast that can never run out of energy. And on top of all of that, this guy comes in pretty much steals the show for most of Gundam Seed Destiny. Now this debuted in Gundam Seed in the later half, but his fame was so good and people loved Kira so much that the creators ended up deciding to bring him back in Seed Destiny, and he pretty much took over the main character role after a while. This kit was released in 2009 and retails for 3,800 Japanese yen. Now let's take a quick tour around the box. First off, we have this side. Over here we see how the kit comes with a display base, how it can actually house all of its different weapons, or use all of its weapons. We also see the weapons here. We have the beam saber, the beam rifle, the rail cannon, and also the shield. Also we have a little bit thing over here explaining about how the different markings you can put on. You can put on the Zaft ones or the ones for the Eternal. And since this, this, since this is the 30th anniversary edition for Gumpla, they did a clear parts campaign. And we see here that most of his left side of his body is actually in clear parts only. Now this kit, I don't think it's very easy to find anymore, but if you can, it's usually for the same price, or at least that's what I got mine for. So see if you, can, see if you guys can pick it up. Now the front and back, this part and the top part are a little bit of, like pretty much the same image as the... Uh, as the main box art in the front. And over here we get to see how this guy looks right here. Um, get the front, the back shot, a little bit here explaining about the inner frame, kind of what it can do, showing off what it can do I guess. Here is the shoulder, it actually can move up pretty well. And the leg down here, um, it explains that it can actually separate a little bit and um, yeah, show you a little bit of inner frame. All right, let's go in and unbox this guy for you. Now, like I said, oh, yeah. Now, this is one of the older kits, and one of the older Master Grades, they used to have these cutouts right here. And, uh, yeah, they stopped doing that now, recently. Which is a shame. Uh, we have the wing parts right here, and the stickers, and, yeah, nice foil, foil stickers. Um, this is ac this sticker right here, this giant foil sticker, is for the trim on the, the beam rifle, so that's a shame. We have the manual right here. And let's move on. We have a lot of the inner frame parts and the beam sabers. All of the dark blue navy parts that make up the wings. And a lot of the parts for the backpack, the shield, the uh, torso parts, the back. And right here we uh, we get our, it's a duplicate runner basically, and it's a duplicate runner of, let me see if I can find it, of this run. Our D-plate is a duplicate for, or this is a duplicate of our D-plate, which is all in clear. Put that over there. And yeah, this is all of the leg parts mainly, and all the ankle parts, and some for the, um, Waist, I mean, the, the side skirt. And we have more inner frame parts over here, nothing too special. We get more, this is an, a, another different color of blue. We have parts for the, the feet, the uh, wing connection parts right here, and a part for the lower torso. And also some polycaps. Here we have another white piece, and it's all for the we have the back of the skirt here, the shield, more parts for the shield, more front skirt parts, and the helmet right here, front and back. And the rest of the parts for the giant guns on the top of the wings. 
Now we have more parts right here, all in white. We have a Kira sitting, or standing and sitting down. And we also have the colorless, colorless, may I repeat this, colorless cover for the beam rifle. And the sticker's gonna go right over there. And that's a huge thing with me. I love color separation, so. And we have more parts for the inner frame, some ankle armor, or some ankle parts, the beam rifle, and yeah, a little bit of accent pieces right here as well. Lastly, we finally have right here, we have some red, yellow, and some gray, and some see-through. This makes up our A-plate. Lastly, we have this stand. Now to start off, we have our A-plate. Now on the A-plate, we have all the gray pieces, the light gray pieces, to make up all the uh, rail cannons on the side, here and here. Some of the uh, chest accent pieces, the collar piece right here, and all of the red and the yellow fin. We also get the clear see-through piece for the scope for the beam rifle and the part for the eye. Now our B1 and B2 plates look relatively different. Here we have mainly stuff for the shields, the skirts, the head, obviously. And on the B2 plate we have the V fin, don't lose this or break that. And also the parts for the guns on the top of the wings. And here is our C plate. We mainly have all the pieces for the shoulder armor and all of the parts for the arms. Uh, we have a standing and a sitting Kira and also the naked beam rifle cover, and the beam sabers, handles, the handles, they're solid pieces. Moving along, here is our D-plate. Now here we have mainly the pieces for the legs, and also the side of the rail cannon for the skirt armor. Now we also, since this is the clear parts version, we have a duplicate see-through runner of that. So if you lose a part, maybe you can just pop one of these in and paint it, if you want to. Alright, and here are our E1 and E2 plates. Our E1 plate mainly consists of parts for the wing, the dark navy blue here, with parts for the uh, cannons up top. And the E2 plate comes with parts for mainly the backpacks, the chest, um, parts for the backing of the railguns, knee covers, and also shield parts, and the cockpit hatch. Here's our F1 and F2 plates. Now F1 F2, same color, this nice blue, and they're both wing parts. This is the part that connects to the dark navy blue on top, and also more parts here for the inside of the wings for F2. We get a small G plate that houses the feet parts and the connection parts for the wings, and also a part for the chest right here. Now for this kit we do get two runners of ABS plastic, and that's for our H and our I. They're both inner frame basically. Now we have parts for the chest here, the crotch, inside of the arms, and all the fingers are also ABS as well. Same with some of the joint connection parts for the railguns, and also the parts for the shoulders right here. And now for the other half, or I, our I plate has parts for the backing of the feet, mainly leg parts up here, and very important parts for the inner frame of the wing system. And more parts for the feet. This is this is some feet, foot, feet, feet parts. And also the parts for the knee armor. Here is our J-Runner. Now this is polystyrene, not ABS, but it is in the same color as the last two runners we went over. Now here we have parts for the ankles, um, beam rifle parts, the outside part for the inner frame, if that makes sense. Parts for the barrel, the scope, and the thruster and inner frame for the skirt. Standard beam saber parts molded in pink. A sheet of polycaps is included. And rounding out technically parts, we have the stand that this guy comes with. Now this thing is pretty cool and relatively easy to easy to combine. It's just two parts. Now to make your kit presentable after you've done combining it all together and snapping it together, we get things like this disgusting sheet of stickers, especially when this goes over the beam rifle. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. 
We also have more stickers for markings right here. Um, except these do show the, uh, the they do show the edges. So I don't know if you really want to use these. And last but not least, we get our good old fashioned dry transfer decals. Now these are pretty nice. They have things like the N jammer canceller, the phase shift armor system, nuclear drive, meter unit eternal. You have Zaft here and also the model number. So this is pretty nice. Good touch. So here's the manual. Now to commemorate the 30th anniversary, so they did a clear parts campaign, right? This kit's actually released in 2004 but the box is printed new, which came out in 2009. So by the time you guys watch this, it's pretty late. Inside we have some fictional information, nice line art about the kit, different points about the kit that they talk about here, a checklist of all the stuff inside you're going to get, and over here we have the upper torso and head being constructed, and a nice nice illustration of the leg and also the upper torso including the head. This side over here we get the construction of the arms you connect it here and then we have accessories, weapons, and the beautiful wing system. And in the middle, like usual, usual we get the color splash page, double page across. Now here we have fights on documentary of photographs, documentary photographs the front of the freedom, um, okay. The Alaska sky when he comes down and, you know, lays waste everything with beam spam. And Judgment Day when he goes 1v1 versus Rula Crusade. Over here we have more parts and pictures that we saw on the front. And yeah, also the color guide is right here if you guys are interested in painting him up. Over here we have more parts for the lower crotch area with the side skirts and everything, more leg, more leg over here as well, and we get into the goodies, the rail guns over here, the guns on top that are mounted on the wings, and the wing construction, and also the beam rifle, and it says right here you have to put on stickers, two of them on each, or two in total, one on each side, ew. Shows you how easy it is to put in the beam beam saber and how to accessorize the guy. Lastly, how to transform him or move the rail gun move the guns around and whatnot. And also how to construct the uh, the base. And finally we have where all the markings go and where you can put the decals. So that's nice. And as the older master grades have, a nice back shot of the kit fully painted. So guys, that concludes part one, the unboxing for the Master Grade Freedom Gundam from Gundam Seed and Gundam Seed Destiny. Now don't forget, this is the 30th anniversary clear parts campaign version, and that comes with a runner of clear parts. For this guy, it's the D runner. And don't forget that this campaign came out in 2009, but everything you see here is a 2004 mold the original release date of this guy. My name is Dr. Tony Tony Chopper, and I'll see you guys in part two. So, peace out.